one, two, or three? Which one looks better to you? Today, I got something pretty cool I want to share with you all. So this is made by a company called Hip Gear. I don't think they're around anymore. This is the Hip Screen Pad. They actually made a couple flavors of this. This is the PlayStation flavor for the PlayStation 2 and hopefully PlayStation 1. They also made one for the GameCube and they also made one for the Xbox. So they made three systems in total. This is an analog controller with high resolution 2.6 inch TFT screen. Boom! Even though this is a 2.6 inch screen, that's a pretty big deal for back then. This is before the era of having high definition screens in your pocket like a cell phone where you could pull out, watch movie, video, YouTube, whatever you want on it. But anyways, this is a pretty cool thing. I thought it was always cool when I was younger. I definitely always wanted one and I'm happy I finally got my hands on one today. Comes with a little diagram of what we're getting in there. Obviously, screen controller, pretty easy. We're going to check it out when we open it. Check out these images. You got this party going on right here. What is there? Three Xboxes on the table. Are they having like a LAN party? They're all playing. They got this girl in the background who's just watching on the little screen. I find that funny. Let's open this thing up and have some fun with it. Let's just kind of cut at it. Some old plastic. Ooh, look at this thing. Oh yeah, I forgot. It comes with like a... <laughs> A power plug. It's interesting, it shows a diagram of how you're gonna play multiplayer. The video and audio is like a pass-through. You can just kind of string them together. So you'd string four of them together if you wanna play four player. And then you each have your own little screen going. They came with the controller itself, which is connected to the audio video cord. It's got the power in to power the monitor. And then you got the controller plug that goes into the PlayStation. It came with a controller screen protector and it came with a power adapter because not only do you have to power the game system, you have to power the controller screen, which is interesting. It's going to take up extra plugs. The controller itself, honestly, it's a lot lighter than I thought. If someone just handed me this controller and my eyes were closed, I don't think I would know that there's a screen on it. It's really not that heavy. I'm actually really surprised with that. I'm not a huge fan of this D-pad. I do like when the D-pad is each individual buttons instead of just one big pad. So that is something. You got all of the shapes right here. Interesting, there's a turbo button. The analog sticks, they feel nice and springy. They got some nice grip on them. It does feel like lighter. It definitely feels like cheaper plastic than uh, the regular PlayStation controller. It's definitely like a third party feel. Fingers crossed that this thing comes off the screen. It's probably been on there for so many years. Oh yes. Oh yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Oh, look at those bezels. Oh, the screen is so much smaller. No. All right. Hold up. Surgeon simulator. Here we go. Absolutely beautiful. We got a little, a little booger up here. Once you pull off the sticker, you notice that there's a whole lot of black border around here. I thought the screen was gonna be a little bit bigger than that. We're gonna barely see anything on this. It's so ridiculous. For comparison, I pulled out a Game Boy SP just because it's what I had on hand. And it's about the size of it uh, when it's small. That's crazy, the SP screen is actually bigger. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like there's already little scratches on it and I really didn't do anything to it. Let's check out this screen protector. Looks like it kind of just clips on. And it actually fits really snugly. Look at that. Boom. And it's like a little sandwich. It's almost time to game on the controller. But first, I have to plug my controller in. And then I have to plug my controller in. And then I have to, you guessed it, plug my controller in. Ignition. I'm going to reach over this horrible squid of wires and on with the system. Let's see what happens. Do I have to adjust? These knoblets. Oh, I saw something. Oh, look at that. Oh, we got volume. This is the color. Oh, it goes from color to black and white. Yo, it's working. That is just bizarre. I got three copies of the same thing going off. All right, start game. Some HD 2.7 inch screen. Look at this finger for comparison. This thing is minuscule. All right. I do not care for this D-pad. 
It's not really tearing or anything weird. I mean, I just jumped into a hole right there and looking down at the camera screen. What a go. The controller itself isn't that bad. Boom! Not so bad. Honestly, not so bad. Are you ready for this beautiful shot? I'm pretty sure this is all of the portable small PlayStation screens playing at once. Little guy, little guy 2, and then a TV. So we're going to load a game, we're going to try to do some mercenaries, and I'm going to just be looking at this screen to play. You can look at whatever screen, but this is going to be the playability test. Alright, we going to play this game. Oh yeah, I'm looking at just this screen. I looked at that one, that's cheating. Oh, wrong button. All right, I think that's a number 14. There's quite a bit of jiggle on this controller, some rumble. It's not that bad of an image. Oh man, but I didn't see them, <laughs> so maybe it's kind of hard to see. I say it's not that bad as I run into zombies I couldn't see. Come on, come on. It's hard to see how far they are. I can see movement, but I can't tell. Come on. The speakers are pretty good. So I have to be very fast, and I'm pretty sure I go right. Yep, 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 just run. He's a freak. He's a big purple man. Okay, bye bye We are getting it. And we have like a minute 30 left. We're doing pretty good. This was a save room in the actual game. Is it a save room? Is this the end of it? Oh yeah, isn't that great? You telling me I'm out of bullets? Jeez, we're gone. See you later. Oh goodness, excuse me, sir. Am I done? I'm hurting bad. No, I'm done. We gonna rocket him? Yeah. Oh, we gone. He's still there? Dang. There it goes. And that's all I'm gonna play on this boy right now. It's totally playable, especially if I got a little bit closer to it and held it close to my face. But honestly, it is a very tiny screen. For my final thoughts on the Hip Gear screen controller for the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. This thing is funky, I'm just gonna say it. It's definitely the most out there controller I know of for the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. It's a very weird kind of like niche or like market they're kind of going towards. Uh, the D-pad, I'm not a huge fan of the D-pad. Joysticks feel good, the buttons feel good. It's got the turbo on it, which is cool. Uh, is it heavy? It's definitely heavier than a regular controller. It definitely wants to lean kind of forward if I let it go, but it's not super heavy. Uh, one thing I do want to say is it gets hot. The poor screen gets hot. This person, this guy's chugging along right here. Uh, the hinge on it, it's a little flimsy flimsy. I just think it's some wild and wacky that I want to share with you because I like stuff like this and I hope you do too. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something new. Hope you saw something cool. I hope you just enjoyed yourself. Anyways, I'll catch you on the next one. And have a wonderful day.